hello friends and family welcome back to the channel my name is esther let me take you through a schengen visa application process so this is probably supposed to be a sit down video but i don't want to bore you and do same old same old sitting and talking please do not get distracted by the graphics make sure to listen if you want to go ahead and apply for a schengen visa so now a schengen visa is a visa that allows you to travel through european countries that are within the schengen area germany italy greece spain netherlands france are some of the countries which are within the schengen area so who doesn't want to visit uh, tour europe i want to tour europe so if you are visiting netherlands for example you need to visit the website www.netherlandsworldwide.nl create an account and complete an online application make sure to print it out once you do that, you also need to create an account on VFS Global. You can actually download this uh, app into your phone and then book your appointment in one of the following centers, London, Birmingham, Manchester or Scotland. Once you do that, you need to book your flight and also hotel reservations. <laughs> this is a bit uh, awkward because who books a flight and a hotel without having a visa? But anyways, it is one of the requirements. You just have to do it. So, and then the other thing is, if somebody is inviting you to one of those countries, they need to, in, to, to send you an invitation letter uh, and also a copy of their passport. Like in my case, I'm being invited to the Netherlands by my sister. So she write me an invitation letter and she also um, send me a copy of her passport. Okay, the other thing is you need to have a valid passport and a BRP card. So that means you need to provide right to stay in the UK. So the other thing is that you need to provide a three months bank statement. Um, this is just to prove that you are financially able to take care of yourself while you are traveling. The other important thing is that you need travel insurance. This can be... Um, can be booked or you can get a travel insurance on the v vfs uh, app so the other thing is that you also need contract of employment you need to submit a contract of your employment if you are employed here in the uk uh this is really just to prove that you are employed you legally live in the uk so the other thing you also need to uh, print out your appointment letter because you need to present it uh, by reception at uh, VFS Global. One thing you should keep in mind is that appointments are not always easy to secure, especially during summer where everyone wants to travel. Also, appointments availability uh, depends on uh, from country to country because some of the countries are really tourist uh, destinations and most people want to travel to those countries. Uh, and so my advice is that if you really want to secure an appointment, you better look at countries that are less popular, if I may put it that way, uh, countries that are quieter, like, um, what can I say, uh, countries that not a lot of people travel to. Because countries like Netherlands, for example, or Germany, or popular countries, you hardly get an appointment. But if you get one, you better take it serious. So, uh, also, don't forget that uh, throughout this process, there are also fees involved. You need to pay for your, um, you need to pay for visa fee. You need to pay appointment fee. You need to pay a travel insurance fee. Um, your flight and hotels. 
so yeah it's, it's kind of a costly process but uh, obviously if you want it you will see it through it was intense guys i uh, just came out of the visa center um, yeah it's now 10 30 in the morning so and then my appointment was 8 45 in the morning and uh, <laughs> they started late so guys uh, thank you so much i hope this information helped you and i hope you did not get distracted by all the uh, graphics and uh, yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up like it uh, comment uh, subscribe and i will see you in the next video it's a bye for now